hi everyone and welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to make this website a little bit more dynamic if you haven't seen it before this is a website that i'm testing out different wix studio settings on last tutorial was on gallery and how to turn on the auto slide and rotation of different images and videos of course and the before that we also did infinite marquee carousel as you can see right now when i refresh the website there is nothing happening uh, that much on the first glance but if you notice there is a slight blur that i just added recently and when you scroll it becomes a little bit clearer but the text is not moving and nothing is happening overall with most of the elements some text animation and overlapping of sections is going on here and there and that's basically it so let's brainstorm together and find out how can we improve the performance of this uh, website first i'm thinking let's do something on entrance maybe different elements can enter from different directions and for example can reveal themselves i was thinking maybe float for the text and probably different from the button for example a slide for the button and i would like to have it from the right to left if you can see it here behind the control panel this one will come from the left this one will come from the bottom and this one also will reveal itself by floating bottom to top and i think the speed can be one second slightly faster so the user even if it has a little bit um, how to say slower connection it doesn't glitch too much so maybe one second it will be a doable speed for the slide let me also make it consistent with one second they all can come in the same time but maybe we can delay it with 0 0.2 seconds just in case okay let's see how the hero section looks like now this is how it looks like let's see maybe we can delay the book treatment while they're reading I think this is also a button. I haven't designed it, so I'm not sure. Maybe 0.4. Yeah, slightly slower. Let's see. Mm. Okay, that's more smooth. And should we also delay the other text so it doesn't all come in the same time? Probably it would be a good idea, so we can give the reader a bit of time to process everything. Maybe 0.5 will be perfect. Not much time to process, but still something. Not to be bombarded. Okay, there is some kind of flow right now. Also, I have removed a couple of elements right there. This orchid, it's really beautiful, but not really impressive. This one here, it's weird and still as an image. And I would probably like to give it some kind of... To use the shape somehow. Let's try to do the shape. Mm, much better yes i can already see should we do oval no let's do circle yes and should we do one second yes maybe here on entrance we can slide this image rather than just change opacity and i would like to come from left to right these are different curves that we can use let's see mm, this is very cubic as it says is out quint this was smooth 
Okay, this is not bad. I actually like this one. And I would also make it one second to be slightly faster. And for this, I think that's great. Maybe to be consistent, I will also add on entrance the shape where it also shows up like this. And maybe this time choose oval. Let's see how it looks like. It's okay. Not bad. What else can we do? We can probably use some animation on this one. Maybe blur. Glide. Glide doesn't seem bad at all. Also one second. Maybe we can use a different one. Okay, I like this one. We can do the consistent image entrance animation with the oval shape here as well. We can do this one again. This image could be probably an entrance expanding. Let's see how that will look like. Maybe slightly faster. And this one again. Maybe we can leave it not to do anything so it doesn't overwhelm the user. And this one expand. Now this is more captivating whenever we have something like this to actually see the image better because the attention is grabbed much earlier and then it comes into the center like this. I kind of like it. So I think that will be it. I'm going to hit publish and let's test out all the animations. So this is our website and how smoothly it moves at the moment. As you can still notice the little blur. Of course on entrance it's only happening once so I forgot to pay attention. This animation specifically for this image is quite slow because the image is big and it's not very visible so we can change it. This one was quite good. I noticed this one as well. This one also smooth. Maybe making them fast was not really a good decision, but I really like the scroll on this one. Make sure you play with your animations on Wix Studio or trust your designer to do the best for your website. And don't be afraid to use them, but also not to overuse them. And if they help you navigate and guide your user to a certain decision and point on your website, use it wisely. If you like this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for future videos and see you in the next one. Bye!